What's up? Today I'm bringing you the top 5 BMX bikes and I'm going from the new category on Dance Comp. So this is like recent. This is updated bikes that are from like 2016 or 2017. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so just to start off for some background, all the products, like all the bikes that I'm going to list in this video are going to be from Dance Comp. So if you don't know what Dance Comp is, they're basically a BMX website that has like all kinds of stuff you can see here, safety gear, shoes, race parts they pretty much sell everything BMX related so um, the category that I'm gonna be going from is the new bikes so this is like bikes from 2016 and 2017 and um, yeah I'm just gonna sh pick the ones that I thought were the best and stood out the most and that'll be the video so let's get right into it coming in with number five is the fit PRK bike so basically what this is is that just means park and what it is is it's basically a stock bike with a lower cut frame and lighter parts. So essentially it's just a complete like park bike. The reason I like this is usually in complete bikes, you'll see them try and be kind of neutral and not really like take a stance on park or street and they'll just be kind of like a mid-range bike. But this one takes a stance. I like that it's lower cut. I think it looks good. It comes in blue and yellow. And then... um the specs are, it's it's smaller for entry level riders, and it's, it has a chromoly, uh, uh, excuse me, it has a chromoly top tube and down tube with an integrated head tube drilled for gyro tabs. So, and then the specs are, the top tube's 20 inches, head tube angle's 75.3 degrees, seat tube angle's 71 degrees, seat tube height is 7.3 um, two five. That's pretty low. That means when you're doing tail ups, that's this section of the bike right here. So that means it's going to be easier to catch your tail ups because the bike's going to be lower and closer to the ground. So you'll be able to get your feedback on there easily. And so the chain stay is 12.8. That's pretty short for a chain stay. I think the reason they're doing this is to get the smaller riders. And then it comes in with a weight of 25.9 pounds. That's pretty good. That's like a pretty good weight for a bike, especially if it's a first bike. So the price for this one is 369 uh, US dollars. And I don't know what it is in pounds, but you, I'm pretty sure Dance Comp ships worldwide. So if you want to get that bike and you live not in America, go for it. All right. So next we have the We The People Crisis bike. This bike is uh, $579 and it comes in matte raw with the red sidewall right here and it also comes in um, metallic copper personally I like the copper better just because that's the color that I have on my bike and so here we go it's full chromoly frame with integrated head tube drilled for gyro tabs chromoly fork with one piece steer tube salt plus center top load stem with nine inch chromoly bars we the people hilt XL grips and this bike comes in with a weight of they actually don't say the weight. Yeah, this bike doesn't say the weight, so I can't inform you of that. But it seems like a solid bike. It has chromoly um, frame, full chromoly frame, and forks. So that's a plus because it means the bike's going to be overall lighter and stronger. And then it has sealed hubs and um, cranks. I mean, uh, sealed hubs and a sealed bottom bracket and it has three piece cranks so it's pretty much everything you want to look for and yeah that's that's a good beginner bike so and the price is five hundred seventy nine dollars the top tube is it comes in twenty point five and twenty one inches uh... head tube angle is seventy five point five seat tube angle is seventy one the bottom bracket height is eleven point seven seven five that seems really tall but uh... yeah and then the seat tube height is 8.75 and the chain stay is 13.2. So one is the Colony Endeavor bike. This one comes in at $639.95. So the two colors they have are black and emerald. Um, and then they have crimson, which is like a just a kind of a black color with chrome bars and chrome forks. Um, this is a 2017 Colony BMX Endeavor bike, full chromoly frame, integrated head tube, chromoly fork, uh, chromoly bars, Colony, Muke, room grips, 
Make balance. Kermali three piece cranks with 48S spindle and sealed mid bottom bracket. Colony Endeavor 25 tooth alloy sprocket and a cassette hub with 9 tooth driver and a free agent front hub. Um, it has double wall rims. That's another thing you want to look for double wall rims in a bike. That, that um, is quality. And then the top tube is 21 inches on this bike. That's for taller people. Uh, the head tube angle is 75.2, seat tube angle 71, seat tube height is 9 inches. So that's a little taller standover. It's not really as park. You can see this This is taller than some of the other bikes we we're looking at. And yeah, and then the chainstay is 13.25. I find that's a pretty good, good length for the chainstay. So yeah, I just remembered I did not say the specs for this one. So um, coming in at number two is... The 2017 Sabrosa Cobbs Novus by Klaas, Klaas, and I don't know what all those words are, but this is a pretty solid bike. I like the color it comes in. It's sort of this metallic orange. It's called Transburnt Gold. I don't know why they called it that, but um, let's get to the specs. So this bad boy has um, full Kermali frame with butted top tube and down tube. It has drilled for dyro tabs. It has a full Kermali fork with steer tube, one piece steer tube. Um, 8.75 inch rise bars. Yeah, it has double wall rims and it has free agent hubs. That's pretty solid. A tripod seat. And it comes in with a weight of 26.7 pounds without brakes. But that's with hub guards and pegs. So if you take those pegs off, you're going to lose a pound or two. So. It's probably somewhere around 25. Um, if you're looking for a bike, I'd say 25 pounds is a decent mark. Like that's pretty light, and that's what you want to. That's what you want to shoot for is 25 pounds. So this last bike, it's not really a good bike for beginners, but I just think it's so cool because what they did is they sort of brought back the old school BMX bikes. You can see this bike has front and back brakes, and it's full chrome like the old bikes used to be. Um, it has chrome pegs and everything and then for the down tube and the, the chain stay right here, whatever these are called, these two, they sort of had it extend from the behind the seat post, which I think is really cool. It just shows that old school design and here's some of the photos. Just overall a really cool bike. It's 100% Kromali frame. It's 20.5 top tube, 20.5 inch top tube length. Heat treated Kromali fork. Um, heat treated Kromali bars. Heat treated three piece Kromali 48 spline, 175 millimeter cranks with Haro lineage compact disc, 25 tooth bolt sprocket, fully sealed wheels with uh, high flange hubs. It has Haro tires, alloy pegs, and super light chain from KMC. Yeah, overall just a really solid bike. This bike is crazy, it's so cool to me. Um, the only bad thing about this bike is the price point is pretty crazy. It's 11, no, it's $1,200 for this bike. It's $1,200, so that's a lot of money. It also comes in blue, I believe. Oh wait. Uh, they're not showing the blue option, but if you want to, you can look that up. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked the video, check out my channel. And um, I have a BMX bike buying guide, so I'll put a card to that, either over there or over there. And um, that's basically going to tell you like what to look for in a bike. I listed five that I thought were pretty sick here. Um, I didn't necessarily list them in order of like best to, to I mean worst to best. I did it more by price. So... Um, that's why the Haro Lineage bike was last, is because it was the most expensive. So go check out my buying guide and then subscribe. And thank you for watching.